Who doesn't love Daniel Ricciardo? He's a fan favourite for sure, and it's hard to imagine him not being a Formula 1 driver. But as we loom ever closer to 2023, it seems that could be the reality. After McLaren signed Oscar Piastri to race alongside Lando Norris next season, Daniel Ricciardo has been left without a contract for next year. And with only really three seats left to fill, it seems increasingly likely that Ricciardo won't be in any of them. And if he takes a step back from F1, it's hard to see him ever coming back. Alpine was originally the most obvious choice for Ricciardo, spending the 2019 and 2020 seasons with them back when they were Renault. After Fernando Alonso made the surprise announcement he was joining Aston Martin and Oscar Piastri jumped ship to McLaren, it left the French team without a driver to partner Esteban Ocon for 2023. So with Ricardo having history with the team and being out of a seat for the upcoming season, it seemed the most logical choice. However, it now means Alpine is searching elsewhere. Alpine wanted to buy Pierre Gasly out of his AlphaTauri contract, but that was only on the condition that AlphaTauri could sign Colton Herter to replace him. That, however, would only be possible if the FIA granted him an exemption as he doesn't have enough points on his super license. And if you know anything about the FIA, that doesn't seem likely. Now it appears Jack Doohan, Alpine's junior driver, is the front runner for the seat, leaving Daniel Ricciardo to have to look elsewhere if he wants to stay in F1. The second seat available is at Haas, as Mick Schumacher's contract expires at the end of this season. However, Ricciardo to Haas doesn't seem likely either. Recent reports seem to suggest either Antonio Giovinazzi or Nico Hülkenberg are the favourites to get this seat. That leaves the final seat at Williams. However, with Nick DeVries' recent performance at Monza, it's hard to see anyone else but him in that seat for 2023. Ricardo has also come out and said he doesn't want to just jump in any seat for the sake of it, which seems to rule out both Haas and Williams anyway. So with Alpine being the only viable seat left, it looks as though Ricardo will leave the sport at the end of the season. And it's sad to see such a talented driver leave in this way. It obviously didn't work out with McLaren, but I've seen people saying he hasn't been good since leaving Red Bull. Ricardo's Renault stint was sensational, trouncing Ocon and getting podiums in that midfield car. And who could forget Ricardo's iconic Monza win in that McLaren? Ricardo still has what it takes. He is still a top driver, but Formula One is cutthroat, and it's almost certain that this is it for Danny Ricardo.